is going on, the lag time between a patient being able to see a GP now is just getting longer and longer. So uh, the title really was to represent that, that actually, isn't it about time you start to think about what you can do for yourself instead of what can you do in those eight weeks, 12 weeks before you get an appointment? Mm -hmm. um, you know, rather than waiting for, you know, th this this wonderful uh, person, you know, to fix you. Actually, there's there's many things that you can do yourself. And that's uh, what's wonderful about um, Ayurveda as a holistic health system. It's a 360 degree approach. And, uh, you know, often, you know, often many of the ailments that we experience are due to poor diet or lifestyle issues um so i'm i'm you know it's it's certainly at no point in the book am i saying you know if you've broken your leg change your diet i'm certainly not saying that <laughs> but uh, <laughs> what i am what i am saying is that there's many ways to stay healthy while and i you know and i i think in america you're seeing it as well that are uh, you know the systems are getting a reboot you know yeah, so that's yeah. the tagline is staying healthy while the medical system is rebooted mm -hmm. because actually you know our systems are now getting a reboot this is the opportunity that we have as we awaken um you know to the change in the shift that's taking place collectively um globally all over the world and um the, the products within our range so so you know tridosha is really a manifestation of everything that i teach um and and how i look after my clients and you know my my patients and i wanted to expand that um so when this opportunity came to start to work with spas initially you know the first thing was really to look at actually the personal care and how can we integrate you know the medicinal herbs and um support clients in that way so initially it started off with the body oil because you know, most of the people going into the spas are actually going and having, uh, you know, one of our Ayurvedic massages. And um, so the oils, it's an immediate way to actually be able to uh, to to get the, you know, the, the, the quality ingredients into the body in a more um, uh, in a more uh, relaxing way. Um, and then and then being able to subtly educate through that process, because all the therapists that we train are you know trained to to educate um but then as, as we've expanded as i've expanded the range it's really interesting to the listening to the two other ladies as well who who also have developed um product businesses around a passion and um a health system is that um ayurveda, ayurveda based products um we can we can also um increase that also into decoctions so we have many wonderful herbs medicinal herbs that traditionally have been used um, to exfoliate skin um, to cleanse the body and um, we know many of the indian ingredients are used in cooking so things like turmeric which is super popular the world over now i mean i know in whole foods you know you can go into whole foods you can get turmeric latte and so 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 really our extension of that is to um is to start to be able to offer things like a turmeric shot and um really start to expand the range uh, so it, it is um you know it's it's really a full circle so that we can you know we have those growing products and and then you know really the approach to that is that also we're educating through the process really helping people make that connection um that um that nature knows best that that actually there are uh, there are tools there are techniques we can learn breathing techniques um we can go and have a regular treatment from a holy uh, from an, a, a therapist uh, we can learn certain, you know, yoga asanas and yoga postures that are specific to our constitution because it's all individual, you know, it's not one size fits all. Mm -hmm. um, but then on the product side, we can expand all of that knowledge and that understanding into, into, into things that are easy mm -hmm. to integrate into our life, you know, from a self-care perspective. Um, so I'm, I'm really excited about it. Certainly, yeah, yeah certainly yeah. this is the time. It's an <laughs> amazing time. time. Yeah. No, I, I, I'm, I'm familiar a little bit with India. And, uh, you know, there you can buy over-the-counter products without a doctor's prescription, especially mm -hmm. such things as antibiotics, which in America, you got to go to a doctor to get an antibiotic. 
you know, uh, for an infection or some kind of bacterial thing. And even like uh, our food is pretty safe here, but even uh, in countries like India where you get a bacteria that you have to shake and it's causing you all kinds of trauma, you know, to have to wait to see the doctor to get a bacterial or antibiotic, you know, that's a big deal. I mean, and yeah. you know, America has to make some changes about yeah. that. And especially yeah. as we start to use with, uh, start to use the uh, alternative treatment uh, yeah. offers out there. You know, I mean, we, but we have chronic ailments here that if we find some solutions to chronic ailments such as arthritis, such as pain, you know, and uh, things like that, or, you know, it's, yeah. those are important aspects. Well, we, we have many, we have many products, you know, um, you know, we're talking about pain um, there's so many things that you can, I mean, turmeric is, is, is a great anti-inflammatory. So there's mm -hmm. one ingredients already. Um, mm -hmm. There's a, we've got a natural jam called Chuana Fresh, which mm -hmm. is absolutely amazing on joints. Mm -hmm. um, it's good uh, for, for the aging process. Mm -hmm. uh, it's got so many nutrients in it. Mm -hmm. um we you know we have you know even um the, among younger you know among younger consumers as well there's there's traditional herbal ingredients that are going to benefit um we're seeing more uh we're seeing more digestive problems you know we we have a growing community of people who can't who, you know who can't take um traditional milks or you know everything needs to be plant-based now so there's such a shift that's taken place in our bodies over the mm -hmm. last couple of decades mm -hmm. and that's not because we're being born differently it's because mm -hmm. our lifestyles have changed so much and also our environments have changed so much mm -hmm. um where uh you know we are being exposed to to many different things that's mm -hmm. also in our food as well well mm -hmm. uh you know so um so and also through social media you know the constant interaction with social media um is also having an impact on our health there's growing stress levels so i america is quite unique in the sense that you have there are these very strict regimes i mean here in the uk there are many um, herbal remedies that we can purchase over the counter. Um, there are um, there's specific formulations that an, ind uh, an individual would have to come specifically to me or someone like me to sign off. But there's still a, a, you know, a very, very good number of formulations that you can buy directly. Um, and in India, it's even more widely available. You know, these things are not, you know, there isn't a boundary between any of this. And also the information is passed on you know in families so the, these what we consider these so-called secrets are not secrets there you know they're passed on through families and um and then on to on to on to mothers fathers children um and uh i i mean you would have to tell me i i i do wonder with america you do need to make some changes but i think your whole system is so controlled by the finances yeah, yeah. yeah. and i well, i i spoke a little bit about it in my book um not to be well, you would, you would think that um yeah. during the pandemic you know people were closed up you would think that they would change you know but i find that the pandemic has made people worse they've actually started thinking about all the things that they could be doing but uh some of us have changed well, uh, one thing yeah. it's done though one thing it has done it's it's brought people to the realization that wow i can't eat pizza five days out of the week and expect yeah. not to feel any good you know yeah. i mean you know you really have to construct your eating habits in a way that you gotta eat friendly are things that are comfortable and generous to your body's health. And, you know, and you've got to manage that carefully, you know, and, yeah. you know, and if you're managing your food intake based on health, you know, along with good exercise and, uh, and finding solutions that give us better balance, then, you know, all in all, you're going to find a great space. Find so great it's, space. Uh, it's networking time. We have a chat make sure that you tell people where they can get the books from uh, Dina and Sunita, make sure that we have the links. Um, so if you would like to buy, and if you're watching online, I'll make sure the links are available in the comment section. So if you wanna buy um, Dina's book or you wanna buy uh, Sunita's book, 
um, or you want to buy a coaching session, or we've got Susie who's going to talk about investments at one o'clock, and thank you for coming in early. Um, and so um, there's a lot of wealth of information. This is the Women History Month. We are celebrating uh, women business empowerment. Mm -hmm. So very quickly, I'm going to ask everyone to just share, and I don't want to put you on a spot, but I wanted to just share the pandemic. Okay. What happened? Did it change? Did anything, any story, a funny story or anything, did it change you um, or, or, you know, anything that you'd like to talk about? Um, so I will uh, open the floor to uh, Trina. Trina, uh, tell us about the pandemic and how has it affected your store and uh, what can we learn well, from one, it? One more thing yeah. I'd like Trina to ask, because I was thinking about her too, you know, in terms of the product line that she carries, uh, uh, the impact, you know, because I mean, uh, you know, we probably have a litany of things that we need <laughs> help with. Yeah. Uh, let's take one, sleep. You know, if you're not getting a good night's sleep, I mean, sleeping seven to eight hours and waking up, forgetting your name. I mean, you know, yeah. th that the sleep is so deep that you have just, you wake up a new person, is yeah. what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, so, so, you know, so and there I, are product lines out there, and especially with CBD, it is introducing all kinds of alternative solutions. So if you could, uh, according to also what uh, Claire was asking and my request that way. Trina, yeah. please share. Thank you, Alan. Uh, sleep is one of our most popular and by far the most popular at the retail store. That's what everybody's coming for. And it's so interesting because how the stress interacts, right? Is it sleep? Is it the stress? Is which one comes first? And CBD, that's the amazing thing. No matter what you're coming for, stress, pain, anxiety, uh, food, it's helping everything. It will help with all of it. So when everyone says like, oh, what are the side effects? Just amazing, amazing. <laughs> so many. Mm -hmm. But we have a really, what a big part of our line, it's all certified organic and uh, vegan. But a big part of our, our line is looking at the different cannabinoids because CBD is the superstar right now. But it's not the only star. For instance, for sleep, CBN has just become that's its superpower it's amazing for sleep it helps you fall asleep makes you drowsy and designed to keep you asleep in a deeper way for a longer time it also works pro tip if you wake up in the night a lot of people that's their main issue like me you know three four five you take a little bit and you go right back to sleep it's an amazing tool it's fun to, especially in the retail store, because there's no interaction online as much, but in the store, you help everyone start building this new medicine cabinet, right? It's these new tools, ways to interact and take control of our own health. And you might not lean, need to sleep with formula every night. You might not need the lotion that I love having if I wake up with a stiff neck or I just hurt my thumb and... It just is amazing, but it's cool to pull out these tools and educate. I agree. It's so much education on our part. That is how we love to sell. That's what's going to change the propaganda and make a difference and create that connection when there's something that happens when I tell everyone, you know, they're saying that we should think of CBD more like a daily supplement. You know, we all need about 55 milligrams a day, like a vitamin C, a magnesium, vitamin D. And it starts, you know, you start thinking about it in a, in a new way of making this consistent daily use, the way it's interacting with our body in so many levels and our nervous system. It's fun to be a part of this revolution where this is the premier solution and using these natural products. Yeah get there yeah. I get, yeah i do that and um, another thing that we're going to be working a lot with trina is alliances so we are hoping that some of you will launch your books in manhattan in the store and we can do some promotions um i'm all, also talking to some mattress people because a lot of sleep products connect very well with this uh sleep product mm -hmm. um so if you're watching this video and and um and just make sure you consult your doctor we're giving you cutting edge information and um that you um uh watch this and just 
so write us a comment and we'll give you two free tickets. So moving along, I see my um, Colonel Donna Four. Uh, she has fought four wars, maybe three, and a survivor of the Pentagon um, during 9-11, uh, a, a real warrior. I, I really think she is a warrior. And, um, you know, sometimes when you think, you could just retire and not do anything, but she continues on to do community work. She's actually working um, with the veterans in Virginia, and I think they're hosting an event uh, on April 9th, and she will be talking to you a little bit about that in just a minute, but welcome, welcome, welcome. I also have a wonderful author, and she actually has a workbook, so I'm interested in doing a workshop uh, with her. Um, and she is Julie Fitzgerald, and uh, she has a beautiful book about faith to rise, and I, I really love the book, um, and it's, uh, it comes in two parts. Uh, there's a book, and then there's a little journal that you can, you know, I've already started writing in it. Um, you can journal with it as well. So she'll be coming up to talk to you a little bit more about those books as well. So welcome everybody. But right now we have, I think before we get to one o'clock, um, we just have a few minutes. So anyone wants to share a pandemic story or an experience um, with us? Anyone? Lisa, you want to tell us a pandemic story? Okay. How right. many people have told us, you know, just using CBD more, it's so much stress and anxiety this whole time. And it's interesting to see because it really works. It does. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the off, you know, and just yeah. creates more. That's true. That's very true because you get so anxiety and stress. I mean, I know we all want to talk about the the Oscars, but we have to be very careful how we say it until the Academy decides what the determination is. Uh, so no one's making any comments. But, you know, anxiety and stress can lead to a lot of things and you really need to have that under control. So go see Trina, go to her store. Where's the store in Manhattan? Madison Avenue, yeah. Yeah, right on Madison Avenue on 48th Street. Yeah. 47th. That's so around so. the corner from um, what uh, 42nd and uh, yeah. uh, the train station. Okay. Mm -hmm. There we yeah, go. Uh -huh. The person of the man of the hour. We're waiting uh -huh. for Ernest. Okay. Uh, awesome. So it's exactly one o'clock on the dot. And I would like to bring in two of my next round of speakers. And please stay. We have a packed day. We have two, uh, three uh, webinars and workshops, and this is the first time we're actually doing these workshops and they'll be available on demand as well. So we really want you to stay and learn and grow and uh, very quickly. Um, um, so Lisa is going to be doing the power of connections. You know, we cannot be in business without connections. And so it's a powerful session. Reginald is going to has money to give away. So he's going to talk about business financing and credit repair. And then uh, Donna is going to do uh, life insurance, which is very, very important as well. Uh, but she's gonna talk about it more in context with business planning. And as a business owner, how can your legacy continue on after you pass away? Uh, so it's a very important, we're all building all these businesses and we need to have a legacy. You don't wanna just you know, give it up. So you wanna pass it on. So, so it's very important. Um, and so, uh, Susie, where are you? There we go. So let's keep time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stop recording.